video can the video is off like that.
Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Abigail. Thank you, Caitlin. And First Lady Miller, thank you for joining us this evening. Good evening. I'm Todd Cowan, Superintendent of South Bend Schools. Welcome to our Clay family. On behalf of my Board of School Trustees, without whose leadership, dedication, and commitment to our students, we would not be here tonight. We're thrilled to join you and congratulate our seniors and their families. Also, for your support, thank you to the Honorable James Mueller for his support of South Bend Schools. Shay Davis, thank you so much for joining us this evening. First, I want to acknowledge and honor the First Nations people of Indiana, specifically the Pocahontas Band of the Potawatomi on whose ancestral homeland and resources South Bend schools were built and where your success is being celebrated. Graduation is my favorite time of the year, simply because of all the marvelous potential sitting before us. Seniors who have the ability to dream, envision, and create the future you desire. Live your best life, undeterred by what others think. You've been the best of Clay High School. We've watched this class has grown into a supportive, encouraging, uplifting, and inclusive group. We're awarding diplomas to truly outstanding performers, lighting and sound technicians, visual artists, dancers, band and orchestra students, gaining some alums who will, without a doubt, continue to keep South Bend on the rise. To our fine art magnet students, we're proud of each of you. Thank you this year for making your voices heard and the support of LGBTQIA plus students. Thank you to students who got involved in community meetings, town halls, and made your voices heard. I'm grateful for your activism and proud of each of you. Congratulations on James and Giant Peach, Brady and Girls, and of course, an amazing zombie prom. We're proud of your scholastic visual honor winners and our Christmas solo ensemble contest winners. Congratulations to softball and volleyball in the IC Championships. Congratulations to Abigail Moody on the Mayor's Scholarship. Twenty students are graduating this year with their associate's degrees at the same time as earning their high school diplomas. To the students who put in tremendous effort and with the support of South Bend Elkhart Ivy Tech, congratulations. guardians, special friends, and mentors who've invested in the lives of our seniors. Thank you for the meals, car rides, sporting and club events you've attended. Most importantly, thank you for choosing and trusting South Bend schools. There's another group who deserves to be thanked. Your principals, teachers, counselors, and staff. They've taught you to read, coached your teams and clubs, fed and prepared your meals, who've ensured that you learn in clean and safe buildings, driven and managed your buses, who've been mentors and coaches, they've invested in your lives, making you better people, and who today are extremely proud of the men and women who've become. Our students graduate today with nearly 7,500 college graduates. To our partners, especially at IUSB and St. Mary's, thank you. I want to salute our military graduates. I'm grateful for your service. And to our military veterans, Cold Guard, thank you for your service in representing our military graduates. You're grateful you are once again a standing post. I also want to honor our South Bend Schools veterans and Gold Star families who gave the last full measure of devotion. Thank you for your service. As we celebrate, we want to say thank you to our graduation sponsors. Our title sponsor, the Teachers Credit Union, South Bend Education Foundation, Instructional Empowerment, Charter Wells, SSC, Indiana Trust Wealth Management, Indiana University South Bend, Nancy Saunders, Montrose, Monterosa Law Group, Church Church, Hill and Antrim. Thank you to our internal graduation team led by Dr. Brandon White, Ms. Diane Robinson, Ms. Gabby Hernandez, Ms. Monica Algarve, Ms. Linnea Martinez, Mr. Dre Schrager, Mr. Aaron Wagner, SSC's maintenance and facilities team, Chart Wells, our technology team, our school resource officers, South Bend Police, South Bend Fire, and an array of volunteers who made it possible to be here tonight at historic Compton High School. 
Thank you to the University of today and all your amazing staff and security. Four years ago, each and every transition, you as freshmen and me as a new superintendent. In those early days, we each had to pass the tasks, the results of which are on display. For me, graduating seniors with associate's degrees and the presumptive highest graduation rate of play in many years. But you had to pass the task as well. You worked hard and lived through a high school education like no other class in the last century. You managed to survive an epidemic, spending part of your high school wearing masks and learning virtually. Many of you have excelled in personal losses and obstacles. Some of you have obtained the highest awards we could offer, and I couldn't be more proud. Remember that spirit for your next challenge. Remember what you overcome, how hard you worked, and use that to drive your next success. And so for the first time, formally this evening, ladies and gentlemen, please join me as we congratulate the class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Cummings. Welcome to Clay High School's 91st Annual Commencement Ceremony. My name is Pamela Schreiber, Principal of Clay High School. On behalf of Clay's administrative team, we would like to welcome the members of the dais, Clay faculty, staff, parents, friends, and family as we celebrate the Clay High School Class of 2023. I would like to begin by recognizing the members of the dais. Superintendent Todd Cummings, Mrs. Brent Diamond Robinson, Mr. Chad Addy, Ms. Kendra Key, Mr. Howard Edwards, Ms. Sarita Stevens, the School Board of Trustees, Mrs. Leslie Wesley, Mrs. My Stephanie mom. Ball, Dr. Stuart Green, Mr. Mark Costello, Mrs. Kate Lee, Mrs. Jeanette McCullough. Our special guests, Dr. Michael Griffin, the Vice President of Holy Cross College, Ms. Susan Thomas, the Dean of the Librarians at IUSB, and from Clay High School, Denise Boy, Linda Wash, Mrs. Megan Beard, Mrs. Kathy Henderson, Mrs. Katie Buda, and Mr. Derek Albright. Thank you all for joining us today. It is with great pleasure that I invite the senior class sponsor, Mr. Derek Albright, to the podium to address the senior class. Thank you, Mrs. Schreck. We made it, y'all. To the beautiful class of 2023 that is sitting in front of you. You have all had one of the most unique high school experiences imaginable. And as freshmen, you have no idea how your high school experiences were about to change on March 16th in 2019 to pack your bags and go to the unknown of where education is going. Through a total reorganization of how school instruction was organized, conducted, and delivered, you persevered and became adaptable, flexible, pliable, and you did not break. This experience should not be looked upon as an excuse, as an easy way out or an asterisk, but as a testament, as your strength, as your proof that you already have everything you need to tackle any obstacle or adversity in your future. When college or your work environment gets rough, when life throws you double balls and hurt balls, remember your pliability and your resilience in these past four years. When there was no path to follow, you made it your own, and you left the trail for others to follow. You are the purest definition of trailblazers. Remember that. In this new chapter of your lives, it can be scary, exciting, and downright hard, but that's okay. It's supposed to be. One piece of advice that I can give you is to be present, not perfect. 
I read that statement from a book about transformation, mind changing, and how can you have a change of mind. What the authors meant by this statement is to be aware in your mind, be connected through your heart, be grounded through your body. Be aware and in the moment with your family, your friends, your co-workers, teammates, professors, bosses, exams, projects, and experiences. Life happens fast, and speaking from experience, it seems to happen faster the older you get. Trust me. Soak it up. Soak this thing up. Connect to people. Empathize with them. Walk a mile in their shoes. Understand them for who they are, because that is what makes them them. And you need ground yourself. Be where your feet are. Take care of number one, that's yourself. Mentally and physically, stay grounded in who you are and what makes you happy, your passions, your talents, and drives. There is a word that I would like to share with you all that can help immensely with this, and it's only two letters, so you shouldn't have any problems remembering. It's no. It's okay to be, it's okay to say, it's okay to be grounded. With all that said, understand that you are not perfect. No one is. Wholeheartedly embrace your imperfections. Never forget them. The rest of the world will not wear them like armor, and they can never be used to hurt you. Embracing your imperfections is to understand humanity and ultimately yourself. They are what make you beautiful, complete. They make you you. Never forget that. I want you all to know that it has been a true honor to be your class sponsor, that I was able to be a part of your unique experience and wouldn't have really to take this wild ride with any other class. If you take nothing else from this speech, please take this. Communication is key in any walk of life, whether you're trying to use a turn signal in your car or talk to your parents or significant others. So please, Think about this in your next stage of your life, whether in college or in the workforce. Check and read your emails. Please check and read. I'm going to say it for anybody in the back. Check and read your emails. I'll take once a day, once every other day, to make my cheeks hurt and smile. Just don't rack up 10,000 emails and wonder why you missed an important email. Lastly, don't write the entire message in the subject line. There is a much larger space below that. I promise you, you can check tonight when you go home. It is there. But seriously, congratulations for the class of 2023. You have heard every bit of this moment. Just remember to be present, not perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Albright. At this time, I would like to welcome our valedictorians, Abigail Moody and Katie Zingo, to the stage.
any combination of these two, uh, the time the score has to work with. You can follow and you can So if you want to do what you want to do, we are here because of our actions. Being able to walk across this stage all of our actions have consequences, as does lack of action. For the rest of our lives, whether we choose to pursue further education or immediately go into the workforce, we will make the choice to either work hard and have positive consequences, or do nothing and have negative consequences. Yet, working hard does not mean we do some grandiose action once and suddenly we <coughs> Working hard is not a consistent little actions that build up over time. Getting up and going to school every day, turning in assignments on time, putting time and effort into relationships, and getting the sleep we need to function properly are all the little things that we repeatedly do to progress in life. So keep doing the little things. If you do for 18 years, so there is no reason you can't continue for the rest of your life. Finally, congratulations. You are all here today because you have the grit to get through four years of going to school every day, doing homework, passing finals, and balancing extracurriculars and jobs. And we didn't just make it through four normal school years. There was two of those years where there were more teams or strange hybrids that upset nobody in China. We managed to get through four unique years, not because they were easy, but because they were hard. I'd like to thank the entire Lake High School staff, including those that have been on and on from working with us throughout everything that has happened since the first day of the night. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, 
I invite members of the band and our senior members to please join your colleagues. Directed by Mr. Nathaniel Sutton to perform What a Wonderful World.
Members of your class receive countless scholarships and awards for their hard work in academics, athletics, and the arts. You have much to be proud of, and we love watching the show. I feel honored that I was able to be a part of your high school journey. For many of you, I've only known you for a couple of years, while there are those of you that I've known since early middle school. I have enjoyed seeing you all grow up to be accomplished young adults. All of these experiences have played the groundwork for your future. It's up to you to build on this. Whether you see your future as a book to be written, a road to be traveled, a building to construct, a play to perform, or a canvas to paint, it's your turn to make your mark. You are designing your masterpiece, selecting your materials, and what you are going to do with them. Where you go from here is totally up to you, and we can't wait to see what you create. With that, it's now time to afford the clothes. By the authority vested in me as the principal of Clay High School, I hereby verify that the names that you will hear on this 10th day of June, 2023, have met all the course requirements set forth by the Indiana Department of Education and the South Bend Community School Corporation Board of Trustees for this graduation ceremony. It is now my honor and duty to present the high school class of 2023 with their diplomas. We ask Dr. Cummings to join me to distribute them as Ms. Buda and Ms. Henderson announce the names of our graduates. Ms. Buda,
Kristen Jamie Clark. Amaria T. Coleman. Avant T. Coleman. Skyler Denise Blair Coleman. Kayla Mitchell Kraft. Thank you. 